Good morning. Welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. I'm Karen Griffiths. I have Simon here. Hi. And we're today we're going to be making a wholemeal chocolate cake and I'm also going to be showing you how to do the new Too Good To Be True bread mix. Just while we let our audience build up a little bit, I hope you ha all had a lovely bank holiday weekend. The weather was gorgeous, wasn't it, Simon, on, on Saturday? But Sunday was uh, very windy and quite chilly. I hope none of you were having street parties. Uh, well, yeah, uh, socially distancing yourselves. <laughs> Well, we're still waiting. I'm just going to show you. I'm going to. I'm going to keep doing it through the live as well. But I'm going to show you. We have the new tall cake boxes in stock, and they come in a 10 inch, a 12 inch, and a 14 inch. They are available on the website now to buy a single or in packs of 10. How are we doing for the audience, Simon? Is it starting oh, to build? Oh, I don't know, or? Karen. I, I can't even it. find it. Where is it? Where are you? <laughs> what day are we on, Simon? Where are we? <laughs> That, that's what it, people tune in for the comedy aspect of this, don't you? It's not, it's, it's not a cooking or baking show. It's, no, a, it, it's a little Nardi show, isn't it? Yeah. When you were here. <laughs> Tell me why I can't find it. Is it because there's a 30 second delay? Well, we've been going two minutes. <laughs> uh, good morning to YouTubers. I hope you're tuning in. Well, I hope it's on YouTube. That's, we are. We are yeah. broadcasting. <laughs> So good morning to YouTubers as well. Uh, please like and share this morning's uh, demonstration. For uh, I don't know what the prize is, but Carol will sort something out. Oh, right. okay. <laughs> there'll, there'll be a, there'll be a prize for like and share, but I'm not too sure. On Just what feel be. free to pick something off the. You know. <laughs> it, it could be um, it, it could be uh, a couple of cocoa powders or a couple of. Uh, Carol, we'll sort something out, so don't worry. Please like and share, and we will sort you a prize out. I'm sure we will, yeah. Absolutely. Why don't we just wait for the um, the programme to build up? Yes, absolutely. Here we are. So how are we doing? I think that's, I think that's about right. We've got 84. Right, brilliant. Right, so... As I was saying, we've got the new tall boxes on the website. We've got the 10 inch, the 12 inch and the 14 inch. They're the extra tall ones for your big cakes. They do come singular or you can buy them in packs of 10. They are listed on the website. We also, Carol showed you how to make this last week, the Too Good To Be True cake mix. It's £4.50, that's on the website. And we have a new one, which is the Too Good To Be True bread mix, which I'm making today uh, to show you it's so, so simple. Again, this is £4.50, but you don't have to add anything, only water. So there's no yeast, there's no kneading. I'm gonna show you how super and simple it is for anybody to make a loaf. I'm also going to be showing you Are we on the front there? Are we on the, can we go with the home there, please, Simon? We can. How to do wholemeal chocolate cake. Now that's just made with wholemeal flour and it's with cocoa, uh, cocoa, eggs and oil. There's no margarine or butter in it and it's just got a, a chocolate icing frosting on the top and I've just scattered some pearls. So I'll be showing you how to do that in a moment. So let me just get the... Sorry, it just looks very dark. I'm just checking the lights are all on. Yeah. yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Carol. Carol's really busy, so she's not joining us today because she's got a ton of work to do, as per usual. Sorry, I was just watching you. Yeah. It just looked very dark and I put the alarm on. Good yeah. morning. Uh, well, there's a cake in the way, that's the what it is. The lights are yes. Oh, yes. It's a roll on. Yeah. 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 Right, all right, that's good. <laughs> Right, so I'm just going to get it. the bread. I mean, this one is you mix it with 325 mils of tepid water. You mix it with a dough hook in your mixer until it forms a ball of dough, and then you pop it into a bread tin and you prove it for a minimum of one hour. So mine has been proving now for an hour and fifteen minutes. So I'm just going to get it out of the the uh, top oven and show you before I put it into. Can we see that all right on the overhead, Simon? We can. Yes. So this has been proven for about an hour and 15 minutes. 
Uh, as you can see, it has really doubled in size. I'm going to bob that into the oven now. It takes uh, a 30 to 35 minutes to cook. So this will be cooking now while I'm showing you how to do the wholemeal chocolate cake and the bread. So is that a two pound? It's a two pound loaf tin, yes. The lava lamp's aren't on, that's what it is. Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Thank you, is. Samantha. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I bet my boxes are in the way as well, aren't they? So uh, let's bring a bit more light to the front. Yeah. Thank you. There we go, we've got some more light. Let there be light. <laughs> right, we're sorted now. We can <laughs> carry we're on. sorted now. Right, what to do first? Um, I think we'll do the bread because we are you all cafuddled? I'm cafuddled now. I am. It's because the light's not being on. Right. I'm going to make the bread first, and I'm going to put that in the oven to pre. I'm going to put that in the um, the top of the part of the oven that's not on, but it's warm from having the oven on, and that's going to prove for me while I bake the cake. No, in fact, I'm not going to do that. You're not going to do the side. Of it. You've already got one in the oven. Yeah, but I was going to show the lady. I'm going to show the people how to make it. Oh right, go the, on, uh, the yeah. lovely sugar and crumbers. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make. Wholemeal chocolate cake. Right, okay. So for this I will put... So you planned all this out? I planned Perfectly. it out completely. There we go. Can you see that all right there? And your... I know, I'm... Standards are slipping, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Carol that said that? <laughs> Maureen. Maureen, thank you. Right. <laughs> so in your mixer, now we want to put in the oil which for this size now, I'm going to be doing, um, I've lost my tin. It's a 12 inch PME, it's the brownie tin. And I've just, as you can see, I've uh, greased it and I've also lined it. Can you see that all yeah, right? Yeah, can I'm see right that there. perfectly. Yeah. yeah, we're looking at the front at the moment. Yeah, right. Fine. So into the bowl now is going to be 56, you're on the overhead. Am I on the overhead? Is it, is, I didn't write it out properly. The cooking oil is going to be five fluid ounces of cooking oil, which is the vegetable oil I've used. So I've got not, golden syrup. You're not using the cake mix that's there, are no, you? No, no, that's no. There. That's yeah, just, no, no. There's a clean shot. And it, oh, it, no, this cake mix was just to show people, uh, right. to show everybody this is what Carol did last week for them. So that's going to go just pop that over that there, there so nobody's anyway. confused that you're, no you're, making confused. A, you're making a cake mix. Yeah, I am not making a cake mix. I'm making the wholemeal chocolate cake. Right, there's the uh, oil gone into the bowl there. And then we've got the golden syrup, which Karen has lost. It's here, the golden syrup. Uh, which is two ounces. The recipe for this cake will be on the website after the live when I've managed to put it on for you. That's the golden syrup. We're putting uh, six fluid ounces, no, sorry, five fluid ounces of milk. Any milk will do. Two eggs, I'm just going to mix that thoroughly in the hobo, in the uh, KitchenAid. Here we go. And just get the, I give that a good mix round so everything is incorporated together. As you can see, it's all come to a lovely mixture together now. Turn that off. Into a bowl, you want to add your wholemeal flour. It's better to do it with a wholemeal flour. You could do it with normal flour if you want to, but it's a wholemeal chocolate cake. So use wholemeal flour. I have six ounces of wholemeal flour. I have 
six ounces of brown sugar. Cocoa powder is one ounce of cocoa powder and one ounce of baking powder. I'm just going to give that a little bit of a stir around so it's all mixed together. I'm going to add this now to the uh, mixture. Are you just using plain cocoa, flour, cocoa powder or flavoured? I am going to get my bag out. You could use, I'm using sugar and crumbs. Are we on the, the front camera there? I'm using the sugar and crumbs, the non-flavoured cocoa powder. This is really good to use. You could if you wanted to, if you wanted to make like an orange cake, you could use our chocolate orange flavour. We have chocolate lime, chocolate cherry. We do chocolate chilli and we also do chocolate coconut. Sorry Sam, I didn't get myself a spoon. Going to add this mixture slowly. Just mix it a little bit at a time. How's our audience doing? Are we building up nicely? Nicely, yeah. 121. Hello there. Any new any new people on the here or anyone wants to say hello, please just say hello. Simon will keep up as much as he can while doing the cameras and the comments. Is it self raising wholemeal flour? Or plain? It's just whole it's just whole wholemeal flour, it isn't self raising or plain, it's just wholemeal flour. That's right. why there's baking powder used. Alright, okay, yeah. What can you not get self raising wholemeal flour? I've never seen it. It's only ever been wholemeal flour. Alright. I've never okay. I've never seen it. So it's just normal wholemeal flour. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. With some baking powder. With it. This this recipe's got an ounce of baking powder. With I it. wasn't paying attention, obviously, <laughs> Karen. I, I missed that. I missed you saying that. Did you Are you sure you put it, it in? I put the baking powder in. It was in my little my little football cup, the one that I like to use. <laughs> so if you could just go over how much oil and, and milk and things to work. Yes, in it. it's five fluid ounces of vegetable oil. It's two ounces of golden syrup. We have five fluid ounces of milk, six ounces of brown sugar, two eggs, one ounce of baking powder, and one ounce of cocoa. Now, a flavored cocoa powder, or you can use a non-flavored cocoa powder. The preference is yours. Give this a really good mix. I'm just gonna turn it up. Hi Amanda Bird, good, good to have you watching us for the first time. Hello there. Right, give that a good mix. I'm going to take this off now and I'm just going to scrape the sides down. So make sure everything is incorporated. As you can see, using the wholemeal flour, it makes it's um, it's not. Can you see that in there, Simon? It's not it's not smooth with the wholemeal. It's got all the wholemeal bits in. And it's right. better. So it's not a smooth, and it, it is a runny liquid. It, it is a runny mixture. It is very liquefied. Show us that again on the, on the top camera. So yeah. can, you can yeah. see the, the lumps in. That's from the wholemeal flour. That's the wholemeal grain I'll going just through brighten it. Brighten it up a bit. Hang on. Yeah. 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 So don't worry if you think you've got lumps. It's, you're supposed to have lumps when you use wholemeal flour. So everything's been uh, scraped down. I'm going to pop it into. We've got another first timer, Valerie Kinch. Hello Valerie, good morning. We've got anybody watching from across the pond? Is Peggy not with us today? Uh, I've not, I don't know, <laughs> I'm not sure. She might be having a lie in because she gets up really early every yeah. time there's a live on. Is she joining us on, on, us on Wednesday? So she'll be here. And Dinaz is joining us on, on Wednesday as well. So on Wednesday we have a uh, Carol's cupcake bouquet class going on. Uh, it's really filled up nice. There's a lot of new people doing this course. 
It's £50 online and it's a course that you can keep for ever and you can keep going back to it and looking at it and every time Carol does another course or updates it it's there it's for it's yours forever for 50 pound it's really good value and you can make the cupcakes as we go along live on Wednesday we start at 10 you have to buy the course has to be included into the private group and then once you've bought the course and you've sent back the terms and conditions you'll be in, uh, included in the private group this now is going to go in the oven on 140 degrees for around 30 minutes until the until the top is spongy but firm to touch and the cake tester comes out clean brilliant okay move these ones out of the way any questions before I go on to the bread mix? Just give it a quick syrup, give it a quick clean down. What's in there, Simon? No. Um, oh, there's another, quite a few first timers. Hello there. It's nice to see you join us. Oh, well, there's some names I can't even... Oh, Yolanda. <laughs> I'm not sure how to pronounce your surname. And we have uh, Daniel, uh, Daniel Kreitsch is on tonight, isn't it? At, um, um, at 8 o'clock. Latia, or is it Latisha? I don't know. Latisha? It could be Latia. Latia well, Redmond, <laughs> Latisha Redmond, I don't know. Good morning. PME have brought out a new bread mix. And it says it's too good to be true. All you have to do is add water. It's tepid water. Now make sure your water is tepid because it will help. It will uh, aid the yeast to rise within the packet. If you use cold water, it won't activate the yeast. And not too hot. And not well. If you if you use hot water, it just uh, completely kills the yeast off, doesn't it? It's four pound fifty on the website. Now I know it's it, it only makes the one loaf. But it's great to have in the cupboard as an emergency, if, as you don't need to buy any yeast in, you don't have to knead it for five to ten minutes, and it's a, a, a quick bread mix that within an hour, you could, well, an hour and a half, as you prove it for an hour, and then it cooks for 30 minutes, you could have a lovely loaf at the end of it. In the bowl, the full packet of the bread mix goes in. And we're going to add. 325 mils of tepid water. Now I just need to get my scales to make sure I have the 325 mils. I've just got myself a jug there, didn't I? Could you use a bread machine? You could, absolutely. You could use a bread machine, but it's this, the, the, the greatness of this mix is you don't have to knead it and knead it and knead it. Once you've mixed it in the mixture and it's all formed into a dough, you just pop it into the tin and that's it. things you know and I'm just playing with water three twenty five on with a dough hook. Now you haven't got a mixer with a dough hook, there's nothing to stop you mixing this by hand and just giving it a, a bit of a knead till it all comes together. I can't see it being it, it just means it's just a bit more hard work for you. Just put the water in, start at a low speed till it all mixes together. And 
just going to do it on to medium speed now until it all comes together to form a nice dough. Can you see that in the there, Simon? Yep. It's starting to all come together now with the dough hoop. I'm just making sure that all the bits of uh, mixture off the side of the pan is gone as well. That's everything that's mixed there. And that's it. And all you need to do then is you need to grease. You need to grease your bread tin. I'm just using a two pound bread tin. Now you could if you wanted to make it into small rolls or you could do your plats or your fancy shapes like you know like you is it like your cobs and your farmhouse loaves get my scraper it says form it into a ball so can you see that now Simon? Yep. I form that into a ball and I'm just going to put it in there and then they advise to cover it with a piece of greased cling film. So a little piece of cling film. Just give it a quick grease on the top. Obviously, so you can get it off the dough easier later. Just pop that over. You don't have to fasten it. Just so pop you do not need to stretch the dough out to fill the tin. No, you say just put it into a ball into the pan, and then pop that into a warm place to prove. Now they do say a minimum of sixty minutes, one hour, or if I suppose if you've got somewhere really warm, then you could, if it did it a bit quicker. But it, I mine did take mine was there an hour and fifteen. I could have got away with an hour before because it's quite it's quite warm in here today. I just wanted them all to see how, how well it had rose. Now I'm just going to check my bread while I'm here. The last thing I'm doing is offering up burnt offerings. <laughs> how long does that need to be in? Now they say 30 to, 30, about 30 to 35 minutes. Well, we've only been running 23. Well, it's worked. It's, it's on the, it's on the, it says two, what does it say, 220? Yeah, it was 220 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes or until golden brown. Right, okay. Well, it looks. Look at that. Now you can tell bread is done by, listen, can you hear that? hollow sound on the bottom that's whenever you can tell a loaf is done it sounds hollow i can hear that did you hear that i don't, I don't know whether any, hear that. i don't know if they can hear it at home but it's very i, I can't think it's very hot <laughs> so there we have look well, at that go to the front that looks lovely gorgeous loaf which oh warm with butter on oh good grief no we can't do it we said we was being good <laughs> so that is the bread and that's how easy it is so the other one is proving in the uh, top oven now so if it's proved by the time we finish the chocolate cake i'll be able to show you again before i bob that one into the oven so does that prove a lot quicker than than a normal one would and if, if you made it i think so it yeah. has it did it, 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 it did pre it said an hour for proving uh, but with the oven being on, the proving shelf is quite warm, so it's, yeah. proved, qu it's proved quicker. Put this out of the way. We'll move this out of the way now. The wholemeal chocolate cake is cooking nicely in the oven. Now again, it depends on the heat of your oven, so how long it stays in. If you've got an oven that's like a, a super duper one and, it, it, and it, it's uh, quite hot and heats up really quickly, then check your cooking times. If you've got a really old oven and the temperatures aren't quite right, then it will take a bit longer. This took 20 minutes to bake this. Um, it's only shallow, you see. So it took 20 minutes to bake this chocolate cake. And then I've got, I've got another one now that I prepared earlier, which I am going to put on something 
I'll have to put it on this one. Where is the recipe? The recipe is going to be for the wholemeal chocolate cake. It's going to be on the website. As soon as I put it on after the live, I'm going to go and tap it up and I'll get it straight onto the website for you. I did that on Friday when I put um, the ginger nuts in. What else did I make on Friday? What did I make on Friday? Um, you made something. Um. I can't remember what I made on Friday. Sorry. No, it wasn't here. That's why. Chocolate beetroot muffins last week, last Monday. I put yeah. those on straight away after the live. I did go and do that and they were on the live. So I will promise and this will be on. By the time I'm going home, the recipe will be on the website. I had a day off Friday, Simon. We all did, yeah. I so did. It was bank holiday. I did. Tell you what, I'll make a new one up so I can, people can see how it's made. For the topping, I've got two ounces. No, it's six ounces. Six ounces of icing sugar. And you can use, if you wanted to use plain icing sugar, you can also put half an ounce of cocoa powder. Uh, your, your flavoured cocoa powder or your non-flavoured cocoa powder but as we sell all our lovely cocoa powders uh, as we sell all our lovely chocolate icings I should say I decided today today I'm topping it with chocolate honeycomb flavoured icing I don't need to put any cocoa in this because it's chocolate already we do an amazing range of chocolate flavoured icing sugars for the new people who are watching today we do a lovely range can you see these all right Simon um, yep. we do a lovely range we do the the chocolate honeycomb we do Jaffa twist toffee mocha mint chocolate chocolate milkshake they're all chocolate with them being the chocolate they are all the dark chocolate as in the other one there they're all dark chocolate so I would rather use these as a lovely and flavoured and it'll just give a nice flavour to the top of the cake all the recipes can be found the website the recipe website can be found on the back of all the packets of icing sugar uh, you can put into google mixing it up you can put the uh, www.sugarandcrumbs mixing it up in google and it will bring our website up you also can go to sugarandcrumbs.co.uk and on the top bar it has a, a, a bar that says recipes and if you click on that it will bring all our recipes up said is six ounces of my honeycomb flavoured icing sugar. I'm going to mix that with a little bit of water to make a gooey paste. So a little bit at a time just to mix it around. You don't want it too watery or else it'll run all over the cake. The topping I've used on can you still see this one on there, Simon? Yeah. The topping I've used on that is the uh, Calibo Crispy Pearls, the salted caramel flavour, just to go on top of the honeycomb. Just thought it gave it a nice little a, a crunchy topping. It is a new range of um, new range of crisp pearls we've got in. We've got them in. It's strawberry. We've got it's about three or four. We've got Simon on the website now. Of the crisp pearls. Five, I think. Is it five? Yeah. So we've got all different flavours, and they are, the bag goes a long, long way. So if you buy the bag, it will last you for ages. You can you can top them on top of all your cakes. You can do it on all your donuts, like you do it. Yeah, you get crisp. They said crispy creams with the pearls on the top. You can even add them into your cake mixture. And you can see you have to do it slow, otherwise it goes. And I will only add water as I need it because I do not want it to go to a runny liquid. Just push that out of the way, I don't want to get it chocolatey. If you didn't want to make, if you, <laughs> I, I, meant, I meant loose chocolate. If you didn't want to make the uh, chocolate frosting for the top, you could if you wanted to, just use icing sugar and just sprinkle it all over the top. But I do think it's better to use a nice flavoured cocoa powder, a nice flavoured chocolate icing 
so you can get your teeth into it. And that's probably had about a, a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of water in it to make it into a nice paste. It's by, you do it by eye really, you just mix it up until you've got a nice paste that isn't like water and it's just gooey. See that? So it's still nice and thick but it's still spreadable. Clean up a bit. Bring the chocolate cake back. How long till the other one's done in the oven? That's, that's me asking that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends how long we've been going. It takes around about 20 to 25 minutes, so I'm going to go and check that in a moment. Yeah. So we have done this, I'll go and check it. It's so difficult to tell with chocolate cake that when it's done, isn't yes, it? Yes, it's chocolate cake, is, it's, once it's firm to touch and it's springy, once it, once, if you can yeah. touch it and it springs back, then it's cooked. I also do use a cake tester, which are available on the website to, to buy it. I love my cake tester at home. It comes out clean, it's cooked. But don't overcook. There's nothing worse than chocolate cake overcooked as it goes very, very dry. As you can see, you don't need a perfect finish, but that's quite a good finish on that, isn't it, Simon? I could be a plasterer. Yeah. And on top of that, I'll do as well. I'll just show you the. I've lost them. Here they are. So these are what we have on the website now. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki wants a piece posting out, please. If I could, Nikki, I would. <laughs> <laughs> so these are what I'm going to use on the top. It's the Calabone, it's the crisp pearls. Now these are the salted caramel ones. Oh, hang on. I'm, I'm, I'm the camera work shoddy today. Oh, Simon. <laughs> So these are the crisp pills. As Simon said, we've got about, is it five flavours? Five flavours, yeah. Five flavours on the website. Now, they, they go I think along... I, I think I can name them all, actually. Go on, please. I think there's, there's white, there's milk chocolate, there's dark chocolate, there's strawberry, and there's the, the salty caramel. You can keep your job. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't remember what I've I only away. photographed them a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> no, but they are good value as they go a long, long way. So you only need, you only need to put a few on. Just a few, just. You could if you wanted to, if you don't want to put these on, you could put sprinkles on. We do a whole range of lovely sprinkles that you could put on as well. There's something about chocolate and salted caramel that just go together, isn't there? Are they saying I'm waffling? No, it's, 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 it's Marine's saying, come on, Simon. I don't know whether that means, like, <laughs> get the camera skills sorted. <laughs> and you can just leave this to set on the side. It won't take long for the uh, icing to set. Uh, within sort of 10 minutes, it'll be ready for you, to, for you to cut up into lovely squares. So that is the wholemeal chocolate cake there. I am just going to look at the cake in the oven to make sure I'm not burning it. Not quite, Simon, it's not quite ready, so it is a good, it, it is a good uh, 25 to 30 minutes for it. Yeah, I think it's only been in about 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, it? it's, it's still very, very squishy on top. And what I will do, that's a... Uh, down there. Oh, she, she was being cheeky. Oh, Maureen. <laughs> I'm going to show them the inside of the bread. Left handed, mm. can you see that all right? Um, With me being left handed. I don't know. Do you want to be on? Where do you want to be? Can we to be on that one? Like that? Am I yeah. on that like that? Yeah, you're on that one. So I'm just going to cut a nice piece just to show you. How lovely, and, oops, how lovely and fresh that bread looks inside. Can they see that all right? Do you want to hold it up or something? Do you want yeah. to hold it up for you? Yeah, lovely. And it smells delicious. Can you see yeah. the steam off that? 
Nothing better than mm, fresh bread, and you can't even have any, can you? Oh, that looks nice, yeah. <laughs> so, say, so the bread mix is £4.50. It makes this gorgeous loaf, and it's great to have in as an emergency packet in your, in your cupboard. Um, to just to just knock up a loaf if you if you've got somebody coming round for a, a nice tea and you want to have a, a quick a crusty loaf up, uh, it's great value to have in your cupboard for that. It's from PME. It's on the website. We also do the Too Good to Be True cake mix, which Carol made last week for you. Uh, that's also four pound fifty. You only have to add vegetable oil and water to this cake mix. That's it. No eggs, no nothing. That's all you've got to add to it, and that makes a lovely cake. We've got your crisp pearls that you can buy off the website, which, which we are unfortunately you. sold out at the moment, apparently. Oh, have we really? That's how good they've been, is it? Mm. That's really like that. Don't forget, you've got all our range of cocoa powders to use on all your cakes, uh, flavoured or the non-flavoured. We have all our chocolate icing sugars to use for the toppings rather than using the normal cocoa powder. I've used the chocolate honeycomb flavoured icing sugar on the top of there. Um, we have the new tall cake boxes in stock. We do them in a 10 inch, a 12 inch and a 14 inch. And these for putting your lovely tall cakes in. So rather than trying to buy an extender, if you only had that, it's a lovely deep cake box that you can carry your creations with safety now, can't you? much more unless anybody's got any questions well um nikki says when you're posting out with the chocolate one can you post out the other end of the bread <laughs> oh do you like the crust do you nikki <laughs> 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 or does she mean leave the crust here and post the rest of the loaf out <laughs> <laughs> um i don't know <laughs> it takes that long these days <laughs> right so what's what's what are you going to do now well, all I'm going to tell you is Daniel Kreitch is on. To, is it Kreitch? Kreitch? Yes. Kreitch. Kreitch. Daniel Kreitch is on tonight at eight o'clock. I'm not too sure what she's making. Oh, because that was a question. Yeah, I, I don't. I honestly don't know. I really, I'm sorry. Oh. I really don't know. Someday I forgot. Maybe to ask if Daniel was watching, she could tell us. But yeah, but Daniel will be on at eight o'clock, uh, going live from her kitchen, and we'll be streaming it for you for her. Um, tomorrow night, Carol has the at uh, seven o'clock the uh, little live for the members who have bought the cupcake bouquet class we're doing a little live at seven o'clock tomorrow night on that page so if you have bought into the class or you've, or you've you did it last time please tune in at seven and carol's going to go through a few little things with you just to make sure that you, you, you're sure ready you... for the class and you've got everything prepared and i hope you're all and, excited and you've, you've got your tissue paper squares <laughs> cut. No, no, me, me and Sam were excited again, aren't we? We enjoyed it last time. It, it, what a hoot. It, it was, was good, fun. yeah. It was really fun. Yeah. So if you haven't bought into the class yet, there is still time. It's £50 on the website. And once you've bought into the class, that's it's yours. It's yours forever. You can just keep going back to it, keep going over it. But Carol is adding things to it all the time. Like we're going to do, there'll be, um, she'll be, yeah, thinking of like new little bits to do with cake and she'll come in and she'll show you how to do a different design on a cake. So everything will always be in a class. You don't have to rebuy it. You can just, just go into that class and just watch all the lives from it, which is yeah. really good. And on that note. And what about, we found the cake in the cake? The cake in the cake. The <laughs> what about your bread that's proving? Is that ready yet? It that's won't not, be, will no, it? No, that takes an hour. Oh. That takes an hour to prove. That's why. I, that's why I wanted to show you all the proved bread before. Yeah. And, so, so you got. You need to do a little song and dance, I think. <laughs> and then they'll all go really quickly. The only thing is, when you take the bread out of the oven once it's proved, whip off the cling film and put it straight into the oven. I brought it over here to show you, and because I took it out of a warm place to come and show you it, it dipped a bit in the middle. That's why I've got a bit of a dip there. Because when I took it out before, it was a lovely, a lovely crust on it, a lovely domed crust. So as soon as you take it out of the warm area, whip the cling film off it and put it straight into your oven. You don't need to uh, glaze the top. Say so you don't need to brush the top of the dough or anything. Just, right. just pop it straight into your oven. I'll check the whole bill chocolate cake again, but I really don't think it's yeah, ready. Okay.
Yes, everyone's still excited about Wednesday again. Absolutely. So even the ones that have done it before. Yeah. So. Well, you, you learn it. Carol's got, like, she's got yeah. like, loads of new things for you to learn. It's going to be great. So different decorating techniques, yes. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Showing you different ways. I mean, it, it, it's still got some nifty nozzles in there. You're still going to do some nifty nozzles. She's got loads of different things to show you as well and, and, and different ways to do your, your bow case. So it's going, to be, it's going to be a super class again. I yeah, can't wait. I'm mate. excited, yeah. I, am, I, I, I just wish I could do it. That's, that's... <laughs> Sam, it teach me the camera, I'll make you do it. <laughs> <laughs> we could watch oh. it. <laughs> Thank you, so, so, uh, Karen and Simon, even though the camera work was shoddy. Is that Mo? <laughs> <laughs> Two P forty fives in her hand. We said it is Carol that's probably got two P forty fives in her hand. Watch the live. Oh god. <laughs> People are still joining the class last minute. What's wrong with you all? Because I'm advertising it now. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to say a quick hello to everybody? Right, I'm just gonna move out of the way so Carol can boxes? say hello. I have to, you can tell them again I've told them I've told them twice. Yeah. But I've moved. So she made plenty of things. Have you used those? The salted caramel ones. You didn't mind, did you? No, no did they? Yeah, they're delicious. Right, the stock just... is. Just a minute. We're out of stock of salted caramel ones, but we do have the white, the milk, the dark, and I think there's a lemon one as well. They're it's delicious. Strawberry cup. So oh. Karen and I are going to have bread for the first time in how many weeks? It must be three, three, three weeks. With your homemade jam you bought, haven't you? Yes. You brought with you. So she's made some homemade jam. So just listen, I've got the opportunity here, the cupcake bouquet class, I tell you. You've drove me mad leaving it till last minute. I must have stayed up till half past 11 last night enrolling people, which is great. But I needed to send back your terms and conditions. And it's very difficult as well as that I've just been bashing my head on the wall because so many of you have a different name to your email address because you're using your husband. So this is what I'm dealing with. I've got your name, your husband's email address, and then you're on Facebook as something else. <laughs> Are yeah, you well, expecting sympathy, Carol? <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, who's excited? We are, we oh. are. So as Karen's been telling you, the class tomorrow, we do, we're doing a live tomorrow night. So what I want to do is I want to do a class every month. And the next class is on the 13th of June. So I've confirmed it with Karen. I haven't told Simon yet. So Simon booked the date. But each month I want to show you something it's new. Exciting. So by the time we get to Christmas, you've got loads of ideas. I don't want to be coming in showing you every week and stuff like that. I want to, so what I want to do is the 24 cupcakes. We'll do 12 very similar every month. But we'll also do 12 different ones. And I've got some different arrangements to show you as well. So I'm going to show you how to set them out in different things. So you're going to we'll be really excited. excited. We're excited. Yeah. We're excited to see it. Yeah. yeah. And um, anyhow, so well, I'm going to make... I was planning on being in the pub all day on the 13th of June, Carol. No, well, guess what? You're not now. You're in here with me and Carol. Not now. No. <laughs> so you're always going to be learning in every live. Now, I do realise lots of you can't do the lives as well. And so many people have had to go back to work today, which is brilliant for the economy. Um, but stay safe, okay? So don't breathe on anyone. <laughs> Saturday, isn't it? The next yeah. one. Yeah, so the next one is a Saturday. Um, I've done it on a Saturday because a lot more and more people will be going back to work. Um, but each class, you are going to learn lots of different things and you'll be able to share them all with each other as well. Because I want to add loads of other little piping skills in, but I don't want to bash your brains with it all at the moment. So we'll do the Russian piping tips, we'll do the peony in every class, but then I want to do other things in there and add those skills. So you're going to absolutely love it. So I don't know how many of you are joining me tomorrow, but I think there's, I think there is going to be a lot, not tomorrow, on Wednesday. But I need a lot of all of you who are joining on Wednesday. You've got to be watching that seven o'clock live tomorrow, or you have to watch it before we start at 10 o'clock. And can I stress, it's not on this page. Please join the group. The live is in the special group, yeah? Right, that, and that's, that, and that's the, the cupcake bouquet group. Yes, the cupcake rather bouquet Rather than the, the all about the cake. So I like group. the cross. You see that? She's in the best bit. <laughs> that's a bit Nikki wanted posting out. No, she yeah. wants the other end. Is it the other end? Was it the big end? <laughs> <laughs> the one you, want, the one you haven't been in touch with. the best touching. bit, isn't it? What you're waiting for to come no, out. I'm just going to show them. This is coming out now, so because you've been chatting, I can show them the finished product. Oh, right, brilliant. That was good timing then, wasn't it? Yeah. So we'll see you tomorrow night, 7 o'clock in the cupcake bouquet group okay so i'm going to do set it all up i'm going to show you what i'm making for for wednesday morning so then you can get on and do yours as well all right good just a quick one now i'm just going to hold it so as you can see 
it's come out of the oven, it's coming away from the sides of the tin slightly and the cake tester came out perfectly clear. Now that's had, was it about 25 minutes that Sam, 20 minutes? Mm, about, 20 to, about 20 to 25 minutes. You just test it until, I'm just going to put that down there. Um, you just test it and it's springy and it's coming back and it's firm. So that's how you test that it's okay. Can you just do that again? I'll just yeah. do a shoddy camera work. Shoddy camera work again, Simon. And you'll tell them we've got to have words. <laughs> right, just, just spring well, it to touch. Own. He's doing comments. And on camera. Yeah, that's it. He's done a really good job. Yeah. He has. There you go, ladies and I don't know if had any gentlemen watching, but there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We have wholemeal chocolate cake with our lovely calibo salted crisp pearls on the top. Again, you can use any of the salt, any of the uh, crisp pearls, or you can use any sprinkles. Mm. Anything you wanted to, you could use any sprinkles. And we have the lovely bread, which is the too good to be true. Which I have to say tastes delicious. It is lovely. Too I'm good, eating it just on its own. Too good to be true bread mix. As I said, it's £4.50, but it's great to have in your cupboard for those unexpected guests who arrive and you want to give them some nice crusty bread with a high tea. Uh, it's just great to have in. Or in case you need to self-isolate. Well, you have to self-isolate, it's absolutely, mm. and it's not a lot of problem, you don't have to weigh no. yeast down, no. you don't have to so knead it. It's £3.30 something, which is a bit, sounds expensive, but it's not expensive no. when you're not having £3. to £3.30. Yeah, oh. sorry, I told Karen it was £4 off, but it isn't. <gasps> I've been telling you all the wrong prices, but even for, that's even better than it's cheaper, but you don't have to buy yeast, it's, it's everything's in there. All you've got mm. to have is 325ml of water, you've got your bread, as you saw, I didn't do <laughs> any kneading, I just did it in the mixer until it formed a, uh, formed a ball of dough into a grease pan, proof for an hour, in the oven. Yeah. Brilliant. Done. Yeah. Um, so, for the new people yeah. who want to join the Cupcake Bouquet class, mm -hmm. how do they do it, Carol? <laughs> Very quickly. Get online very quick. To be fair, you need to get online very quick. I'm watching. I'm watching now. Get online. Buy it. I'll send you your T's and C's straight away. Wait for your T's and C's. Sign them. Go and join the group. Get in and buy the bundle ASAP. Providing I've got enough bundles. Yeah. All bundles are going out on the next day delivery today. But you have to have them all ordered. The cutoff time is very quick. You have to have them all ordered. But they could still join the group and, and not buy the bundle if, if they've got if, everything what, what, that what they need. What will happen is, after half past one today is the cutter. What will happen is they'll go out tomorrow, but they can still do the class on Wednesday. It just means their cellophane and stuff is not arriving until then. So they can do their own cupcakes with their own colours. It just means all the stuff that they need for the afternoon session, they may have to wait for. And one last thing, the PME airbrush has been going out like wildfire. Oops, I've got it down here. Karen, go in, um, just go in, just go and put some, it's clean, isn't it? Yes, it is. Is it clean inside the thing? It's got some, I've got some gold right. in it. Oh wait, just pass it here then. Yeah. Some. Can you put it down? No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going to put the lid on before you do, just spill it all over your t-shirt. I was, I was going to spray it on myself, but I don't think it would be a good idea because we haven't cleaned it out. But if you wanted to... <laughs> <laughs> You're using bronze. <laughs> With a really nice bronze colour. Uh, oh, Richard the Hedgehog was thoroughly... Uh, they absolutely love Richard the Hedgehog at, at the local care home. And he smelled amazing. They couldn't believe how de how delicious he smelled. So he's all he's gone now, Richard. That's it. Like, it'll have to be a memory. But um, anyhow, he was loved by all and loved by you lot, which is brilliant. Um, when you get this as well, what I was going to say to you, just pop some water in if you want to test it to see how it works. And Jane, I wasn't joking, but you know what, water your flowers with it. Because you can, you can spray, you know, mist all your flowers yeah. with it, it's portable. So you can mist all your flowers. And also, if you like to tan yourself, you can actually put tannin in. <laughs> tannin, you can. You can, you you can put yes. tannin and you can actually tan yourself with it as well. So those of you who want to give yourself a nice beauty tan, um, you can <laughs> you put will tannin lotion. You will need to give it a very good wash after Well, I can so. actually give myself a tannin lotion with this, with the bronze in now, but I won't. But you can do. All right, then. Good. I said I tested it, and I was going to see how it works, and I did it with water just to yeah. show them how it works. Yeah. But just put some water in just to try it first yes. when you get it. And then, you know, spray it on your plants, seriously, if you've missed in all your plants. Like, I have loads of orchids in the kitchen, and I have to spray them, so... Uh, yeah, so there you go. I told them we've only got a few oh, left. Oh, we when just before the live, we only had nine left. Mr. PME man um, gave me, it was very good. And to be fair, he's gave me 50 sets 
of three colours of paints, which was very, very generous of him. And I have dispatched all them out. So the last nine have got them. After that, they go back to the normal price, 75 99 and there's no paints with them. I am sorry, but I mean, I've had to ask that man and that was very, very generous of them. It's not something that they do. And I actually got it on offer. So if you want to get it on offer now, you need to get it with the paint. So right. I've got a question about the another question about the class. Yeah. So if you live overseas, you can still join the class. You can still join the class, but you won't ever buy the bundle. You'll have to buy everything from overseas. So, yeah. yeah so so you, if you live overseas, when I send you your terms and conditions back, send me a message back that you're overseas and you know what, we'll have a little chat and I'll, I'll actually tell you what you need to buy. But you can watch the class and do it at your own leisure. The good thing about this class is you're actually paying to be in the group. And you're in the group forever, okay? So providing you don't do anything seriously bad in there, you know, you find that group is yours. You can use every class. So that means you can go and watch the 29th class. You'll be in the 13th class on the 13th of May. You'll be in June's class. If I do one in July, you'll be you'll be able to join that one. So everything I do in there is yours. It's yours forever, yeah? And if you're abroad, there's the two ladies already who are in America who are going to do it, but they'll have to source their own things, yeah? Yeah, good. That's, I think that's right, cleared right, that, yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, Karen. Right, well, thank you for joining me and Simon, and thank you, Simon, for your wonderful camera work, even though Mo was you a bit cheeky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mo, I haven't seen that. Mo, Mo, Mo was keeping on his toes. Uh, good, good, good. Good old Mo. No, I was just saying I, I, I was being shoddy, and then I was just got picked up. Well, you've on. come in quite happy today <laughs> with your new beard, haven't you? Uh, he's he's, he's, a, a, he's, he's a, a new lovely, man. A new man. He's had a lovely trim. It's yeah, lovely. Yeah. <laughs> It's not all gone yet, though, but it's acceptable. <laughs> no, I'm just going to grow this bit now. Oh, my God, right. Down okay. to, you know, yeah. You're going to grow it long no. like Cat Weasel. Yeah, yeah that's so what you what can Not like Cat Weasel, no. <laughs> that's what he does, honestly. Then he'll start dyeing it pink and lime, lime and yellow and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, we can right. do that. Is that us all done? That's all done. So Good. thank you for joining us. And uh, I do hope that you will buy the bread and you'll make the bread mix. And I do hope that you'll enjoy making the wholemeal chocolate cake. As I said, the recipe will be on by the end of, uh, before I go home today, if not first thing tomorrow. But it should be on oh. mid time I go home. No, you've said before right, you go um, home. It will be, you've you've it will committed be on. to that now, I'll Karen. Commit. It will no, go That's on. what she's doing next. No, 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 shoddy, no being shoddy with the recipes. We're going to have to take photos as well. Yes. Because we keep we keep forgetting to take photos, so we have to keep making them again. Yeah, and I can't keep doing that. No. Oh no. So don't forget to join join us at eight o'clock on tonight on Facebook Live for Danielle Chris. Do you know what Danielle's making tonight? Because I um, do. Yes, I do. She did tell me. <laughs> I sent her all the stuff last week. She's making something with Calibo chocolate. Anyhow, I don't know what it is. I can't remember, but it'd be that. It'd be great. It whatever is, it is. Whatever Danielle does. Oh, I think she's all... going to show them how to ganache again. Oh, I think I'll be joining that. Yes, I'll, I think I'll she's going to show them how to ganache. So a good right. ganache lesson tonight. Yeah. And then me and Will she Carol... be using a little rolly? No. Me and Carol will be back on are you Thursday night for you? No, I'm in the private class tomorrow. Yes. And the private class on Wednesday. Wednesday. And maybe Thursday night it'll either be me or my daughter, I can't remember. Yeah. Tracy Mann on Thursday morning. You're on Friday back, morning. Back on Friday. Yeah. So I'll see you ladies. Back Mystery, on Friday. Mystery guests on Thursday. Mystery. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Cheerio. Bye. Bye.